And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thanks for joining me today for a quick chat. And of course, our morning cup of coffee. And as you can see, I've got the Guinness mug going because we're talking about Dublin today, going to Dublin. And once again, we're joined by my wife, but instead of Michelle. Good morning. The last leg of our trip, we went through Ireland and we got to stop in Dublin. Dublin. So when the wife books the trip, she sometimes uh, panics and tries to find the best way to get home and the cheapest way to get home. And I had a hard time, but we were blessed to have a little segue going through Dublin, unexpected yeah. and a really nice surprise. Yeah, we just stayed there overnight. Yeah. It's kind of a layover and it ended up being an overnight. We grabbed a little hotel room uh, in the city because yeah. the airport's not far from the yeah. city. And I really didn't even process that we were doing this. <laughs> like I didn't, in the whole trip I thought, we're going, to, we're going to Iceland, we're going to Greece. Oh yeah, we're going to Dublin. Like I didn't think about yeah. it, had no expectations of it, kind of forgot that we were doing it. But it ended up being one of the highlights, again, of the trip, even yeah. though we were there for such a short period of time. Got to see some beautiful things yeah. just overnight. Again, it was cold, a little rainy, a little cold, a little windy, but a beautiful city. Um, yeah. Kind of nice. It's an old city. We got to go downtown. We got to see the, the tower, kind of the castle uh, downtown. We got to see St. Patrick's yeah. Church, the Church of Christ. I was a little bummed out, even though I have my Guinness... Uh, cup that we didn't go to the Guinness storehouse. It was closed by the time we got yeah. to it. But that's okay because we got to go to a pub, yeah. a traditional Irish pub, and I got to have Guinness in Ireland, which my sons have been teasing me forever. Yeah. You got to have Guinness in Ireland. I'm yeah. a huge Guinness stout fan. I have been for 30, 40 years. I remember one of the first time we went out with our friends, we were in Boston, and right. he, he got this beer and I thought, what on earth is this man drinking? I had never seen a dark beer. Right. And we were also very blessed that one of our sons was headed back to the States also and got to come with us to Dublin. Right. And so, so that was fun. Uh, we got to drink uh, Guinness there. And it is a completely different drink. So if you haven't had Guinness <laughs> in Ireland, I will say completely different drink. People say, well, how can it be different? It is smooth. It is creamy. You can literally drink it all day. Um, it, it's like a warm hug because it is so cold there, even though they serve it cold, but you can drink it warm. Absolutely wonderful. We got to have our little Irish pub, live music playing in the background, yeah. lamb stew, fish and That's chips, right. and Guinness. So it was great. It but was what good. really struck me about the, the city uh, or the visit was the people. The people yeah. were incredibly nice. Some of the nicest people in Ireland I've ever met yeah. in my life. People yeah. working airport security were nice. Yeah. Like. The homeless people were nice. Like we walked. Yeah, over, so that was our big thing. Yeah. yeah, there's a river running through the city, and there's beautiful yeah. bridges. We yeah. walked over a bridge. You tell that one. So we, as we haven't traveled out of the country in over 35 years, and so we didn't have cash on us. We had no paper money. We just had, you know, phones or credit cards. So we were walking over the bridge, and this this man was homeless, and we wanted to give him something. We we try if we can to do that, and we were scrambling. We had nothing to give him. And he said with a huge smile, don't worry and God bless you. Right. And we looked at each other like, what just happened? Right. Yeah, it was uh, great. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so that kind of a, a spiritual take yeah. home, I think if there is one from, yeah. from this beautiful experience in Dublin, is just general kindness. I mean, yeah. you, you sort of take for granted as we talk about all these sort of lofty goals that we have in the spiritual life. I've got to, I've got to reach theosis and I've got to get close to Christ and I've got to reach this level of prayer and fasting and come, you know what? Just be nice, just Smile. be kind, just sort of as you interact with people on a regular basis, yeah. just generally to sort of think in the back of your head constantly or maybe in the front of your head, how can I just be kind to people? How can I be gentle? How can I be nice? Everyone yeah. was sort of kind and gentle and nice. And yeah. I think that that's a huge reminder for us um, in the spiritual life because the city was, the city was hopping. I mean, the yeah. city was really hopping. There was someone visiting there from so America. So we, we had kind of asked, we knew it was travel season and we knew it was tourist season, but for a place that's a little cold and a little rainy, we, we were curious and we asked the man and we said, is Dublin always this packed during tourist season? And he said, well, Taylor Swift is here for the next three days and all of you are coming from the States to come and see her here. So we, right. we laughed a lot. We were, we were very much out of our element. But we were. We, were, we were pleasantly surprised. And having been at the end of our trip, we were tired. And I'm sure people who, who are in the, the service industry, it's hard to deal with all these tourists. And the people in Ireland were just lovely. Really nice. Yeah. This, their city yeah. was overrun by Swifties. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, but 
they were still really kind, really yeah. nice. And again, that I think is a wonderful take home and a reminder yeah. for us. Just as we deal with people, as we talk to people, be nice, be kind, be gentle. Just sort of yeah. treat people the way that you want to be treated. Have a nice smile. Have a, a good you know, disposition and a kindness about you. And that's something that can be a goal yeah. and can help us in the spiritual life and help us grow in Christ and do that each and every day. Amen.